to Immortal News Now. We would like to apologize for the lateness of this uh, last year. We know we said we started at 9, but we are here now. I am your host, of course, Big Papa Carnage, and my co-host, Angel Luna. Thank you, folks, for coming on with us. So what we want to uh, bring to y'all today, let me pull up these comments real quick in case we get any comments. All right, there we go. All right, I got the comments up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to talk about today is some of the news that's going around uh, the Immortal, New Immortal Federation right now. And uh, we want to uh, tell you all the updates about our upcoming show, which is December 14th at Creepy Hollow. It's called Dead of, Dead of Winter. Make sure y'all come out to check it out. And yes, if you look at the title, we are featuring 24K. They're going to come out here a little le bit later towards the end. And we'll uh, get to know them a little bit more. And we'll get to know their thoughts about what's going on in IWF right now. Uh, so how's it going, Angelo? It's going great. I'm excited that we got a show coming up in December on the 14th, Dead of Winter at Creepy Hollow Haunted House. One week from tomorrow. Together, our home, sweet home. Creepy Hollow Haunted House. If you guys haven't gone and checked out Creepy Hollow, go to the Facebook page, like the page, and they've got uh, uh, they've got an ordeal coming up, and we're going to be a part of it. December 14th in Rochere, Texas, Creepy Hollow Haunted House. One week from tomorrow, folks. Y'all make sure y'all come out and check this out. we got a great uh, show uh, coming up for y'all. Uh, we do have one match announced that we're going to talk about. Uh, the one match we have uh, been uh, notified about is the uh, Torture 6 match, which... Uh, will be the main event and we have confirmation finally that it will be for the IWF Heavyweight Championship belt and we have had our participants named already all six of them already uh, let's get down to it uh, our first uh, participant of course was named uh, Dante Inferno Dante Inferno and he's no longer hot stuff what, 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 what was he saying this says now if, if you follow us up follow us up on YouTube uh, that's where you get to see all these guys videos and their promos and them uh, letting us get to know them a little bit more uh, can't remember his name do you remember it was uh, the Vesuvius something I can't remember Dante if you're watching get get on this group chat and, and let us know what what you know we, we missed out on that video but yeah, he's, he's been going down a very dark and mysterious path. I mean, he hadn't been doing too well, but I don't know. There's hope. I mean, he was the first He was the first participant uh, that was announced. That's got to show, show some kind of confidence that the Nipotent has in him for him to be the first one announced. And, yeah, he's been on a little slump. You know, he talks about he's lost uh, two uh, triple threat matches in a row. But, I mean, he's down to Inferno. I feel like he can come back and come back and win this. And, you know, he does have a lot of adversity because there's some people in this match that don't like him. But he also has a good thing going in this match, too, that we'll talk about uh, as the third participant that came into this, which was a complete shock to all of us. But, I mean, I mean, Dante, I don't know why he's, like, trying to, you know, doesn't believe in himself no more. Dante's, I mean, yeah, he's in a slump, but, I mean, every real professional superstar in any sport at all is always going to have good days and bad days. And, I mean, I feel like if he realized that, he can just come back and, you know, Say what's up, you know? I don't know. I don't feel the same. I see no quit in him. I saw a different Dante after he was announced that he was, you know, being thrown into this tortured six match. And I saw a little bit of optimism in him. You know, these, these past promos have been kind of dark, but and they're still dark. I think there's still a dark side of him, but he's, he's ready to unleash that dark side. And we're going to see a different side of, of uh, Dante Inferno at this tortured six match. On December 14th, at dead of winter. Hey, maybe that dark side is what it's going to take for him to put that belt around what I'm his thinking. waist. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we do have some comments. Let's check out the comments. We've got uh, a couple of people watching. We've got Nico's watching. Nico the Geek. we got we got Marco's watching. We've got Nico saying, yo, what's up, Nico? Thanks for watching, Thanks buddy. Thanks for watching, Nico the Geek. we we got uh, Bernard watching. we got Joe watching. Uh, we got uh, Chan Chance Bender watching. Uh, we got uh, uh, Mississippi Mud saying, why the heck is Mississippi Mud in this match? We all know, brother. Well, uh, yeah, there you go. A little spoiler alert of who we're going to announce as the third participant of this match. Yeah, Dante Inferno's going to have his manager in a match. Yeah. Of all people. And the craziest thing, yeah, not only crazy that a manager is in this match, but he's in a match that is for the title. Yeah. What could the omnipotent be thinking about? I mean, I understand, yeah, he's been getting involved in matches recently, but to put him in a title match at the to a Torture Street at Dead of Winter on De December 14th, Creep Hollow, I mean, what, 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 what? The only, thing, the only thing I can think of is he's got something up his sleeve. Because not only is Mississippi Mud in this match, who is Dante Inferno's manager, but who else is in this match that Mississippi Mud was managing that is somewhat involved and linked with? 
That's true. Little Not Phil. somewhat, but very significantly Little involved with. Little Phil is also in this match. Little Phil. Who we're yeah. having on the show tonight, so I cannot wait to get his thoughts on Mississippi. But, uh, but, but we did see the catastrophe that happened at the last show where it didn't work out. So I think that's yeah. why we're going to have this 24 k on. I feel like he found him a partner he can like, and that's going to work well with him. But we'll get to that a little bit later. We'll get a little off track. But yeah, so we're gonna, there goes two parts right We've got uh, Mississippi Money, and we got Dante in this match. Why Mississippi Mud? Who knows? We'll see. Hopefully, we uh, he'll tell uh, give us more thoughts about what he has to say in the comments. Uh, please bring him forward. Uh, yeah, Mississippi Mud, we were blown away when we figured out you were in the match too. But hey, man, good luck to you. Hopefully, you don't die, buddy. And if uh, you don't believe us, go to the Immortal Wrestling Federation YouTube channel. You can check out all the promos. Everybody has has promos on on their announcements, and you can get up to date on anything and everything. IWF and alternative wrestling. And yeah, and if y'all go check out that YouTube page, uh, y'all gonna uh, see that, uh, yeah, uh, there is one other person that's in this match that is probably ecstatic that Mississippi Mud is in this match. He has Dante and he has Mississippi Buddy in this match, and he's been having their eye on them in a while. And we have Razorback Joe in this match as well. And yes. I, I I can't wait to see Razorback Joe actually get his hands on Mississippi But No offense, Mississippi Mud, but you did attack the man. And you know, Razorbacks wow. they want to get revenge for a while, so it'll be it's gonna be interesting what he's gonna do in that match to uh, Mississippi. And honestly, it's gonna be interesting to see how much Dante uh, can actually protect him in there. You know, he's going against five, uh, four other participants, and you never know what's gonna happen. They could get separated, or it could work out, and they could be fun too. And Mississippi Mud just takes the dive for us, you know. You're right. Project. Razorback is hot on Mississippi and Dante Inferno's trail. Now, I don't think Mississippi and Dante see it that way, but I would be worried about this Razorback Joe character. I mean, he creeps me out, and he's persistent. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen between he, all this. He, he's hunted some pretty bad, dangerous game, and now, you know, he's coming to a match that's called the Torture Six. Sounds like, right, like right, right up his alley. Right up his alley. Let's look at these comments. I see we've got quite a bit coming. So we got... Uh, we got John. What's Reby. up, John? Welcome. Thanks for uh, John tuning Reby, in. He's saying hi, guys. Hey, what's Join up, John? Join in on the discussion. Tell us what you think about this tortured six match. Appreciate it. Yeah, we we listed three of the participants so far. Uh, we also got Nico saying Big Papa Carnage should have been in torture mm -hmm. six. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down. Big Papa Carnage, you saw in uh, Marco's uh, past video. You know, I don't lift the weight, so you know, I ain't, I ain't that type. I'm not the type that's gonna go in the match. I'm not the type. Nah, it would be bad. I'd, I'd get eliminated real quick. I'd tap, I'm getting there, tap out, walk out. He's, he's not like that no more. He's these, special. These, these guys terrify me. Yeah, I know I went on a little tirade yesterday about getting attacked every time I do an interview with anybody, but that that, 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 that was just me, you know, blowing a little steam. That ain't nothing. That ain't me wanting to get in the ring or nothing. That ain't me. You know, it ain't me. But I appreciate your confidence, Nico. But it ain't gonna happen, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, we got uh, Razorback Joe commenting. Mississippi Mud going to get beat. And then we got Mississippi Mud saying, I'm not worried about Jungle Jim. You know, that, I, I did. I, I'm sorry about this Razorback. But I did laugh every time I heard Mississippi Mud. He never calls him Razorback Joe. He calls him Jungle Jim. And I thought that was pretty funny. Mississippi Mud got his jokes. He, it, it was really funny. And he's got that big stick. And then uh, we, we, we got Heather watching. Appreciate it, Heather. Welcome, got, Heather. We got Jacob watching. Appreciate it, Jacob. Welcome, Jacob. So, yeah, so we got we got Dante in front of being the first uh, announcement. Then we got Razorback Joe was the second one. And then Mississippi Mo was the third one. Our fourth one to be uh, announced, I believe, was uh, Little Phil. So, uh, 24K uh, is the fourth one coming in. And I'm excited to see this young man, you know. He's always showing great athleticism. He's showing great heart. I feel like he has a pretty good chance of putting that gold around his title. And with 24K now, 24K will look good around his waist, I think. I especially, mean, especially with his new partner here, Cool Core. Maybe he'll be out there to help. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I always thought, I always saw Little Phil as a singles competitor. And, yeah, he definitely, to me, in my opinion, has the greatest potential to become the first IWF heavyweight champion. I mean... I'm excited that he's in this match, and he's definitely one I'd put my money on. I mean, there's so many great participants in this. Yeah, and yeah, he, he's also that another fact, uh, another factor that could, uh, you know, maybe he will go in there and help out Mississippi Muds. And, you know, maybe Mississippi Mud took care of him back in the day, gave him a little, threw a little bread his way, you know. And, you know, so maybe, you know, we'll have four against one when it comes to that razor back. Who, who knows the entrance? I, I don't know when they're coming in. It's going to completely random. We don't know who's going to be in it at first. Who, who, what? But it could be the fact in there that, you know, it could be bad for Razorback Joe, too, because, I mean, you could have 
possibly three people getting up on him before ever the, any other body else comes in this match. You know, it's like anything can happen in this torture six match. It's very interesting. But he could also be a wild card. I could see him as, as a wild card. And he, who knows? Who knows? Hey, he might hunt and pray. He might, you know, learn everything he has to learn it. You know, get that game plan that's going to take care of it. And, and you know, for for y'all, if y'all if y'all look confused with the torture six match, basically it's going to have a total of six people in it. Uh, two people are going to start off the match, and then a certain amount of time uh, will pass where another intro will come in the ring. The, the other four entrants are going to be handcuffed or tied. Uh, whichever uh, way it happens uh, to the uh, ring post and every uh, so amount of time another entry is going to come in and elimination I'm sure is going to either happen pin for submission we're not sure we'll get more of the rules we'll learn more about it we'll let y'all know but for and sure last man standing wins last man standing wins that belt and I mean that's what everybody's coming here for and uh, so yeah we have them four people we got Dante we got uh, Mississippi we got Razor back and we got Lil Phil let's read, uh, see we got some more comments let's read these comments real quick uh, we got Mississippi Mud I want a dress match between Angel and Chris yeah that's not gonna happen sir we don't wear dresses we're man we like wearing pants thank you though. who wants to see us in a dress yeah you don't want to see this that's horrifying that's weird Mississippi yeah if you, if you want us in a dress match one might come out then you see all this and uh, you go blind you don't want to see it that's weird uh, we even have Mr. Uh, Bender. Mr. Bender ain't in this match. What gives? Hey, we don't know, buddy. I was shocked about that, too. Honestly, I was expecting you to be in this. I was expecting it to be Bender time, baby, but it, it just didn't happen. Maybe next time, buddy, but hey, I, I feel like if you keep doing what you're doing, buddy, maybe you get the number one contender shot of whoever wins this match. The full card has not been announced. This is only one match yeah, out of the whole card. That's just the main event, folks. We still have two other matches to be announced. We still have some Warriors to talk about. Warriors that could be uh, debuting at this show. All or, Warriors and the Warriors. All Warriors coming to do more matches and come and tear stuff up. Uh, we got uh, Bo Monster watching. Hey, Bo Monster, good to uh, see that you're watching oh, us. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, then we got uh, Razorback Joe. Torture and victim is something that I excel at. And there's somebody who will be tortured by Razorback. Well, there goes the words right there. You know, I mean, like I said, he's going. He's got. He's got Dante in there. He's got uh, Mississippi Mud. He can finally get his hands on him, but will he actually be able to? We'll see. We anything can happen in this match, just like any any given Sunday, man. Any given Sunday for us, a Saturday. Who knows who's going? Yeah, he's one I wouldn't underestimate. Yeah, man, and uh, we, we got, uh, looks like we got Cool Court watching us tonight. Hey, appreciate it, Cool Court. We know you're in the back, and we're going to have you on a little later on. We'll get your comments about this. Um, let's see, our next entrant. Uh, so we had uh, Dante, we had uh, Razorback, we had uh, Mississippi, we had Little Phil, and then uh, our fifth entrant. Magnar? Magnar was the sixth entrant. But, I mean, let, yeah, let's just bring up Magnar, since that's the one we can remember right now. Magnar is in this match as well. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, Magnar, you know, he has that uh, street fighting cred and everything. You know, he's a bad mofo. We got to see him back in the zombie apocalypse match. And Did you see that house he grew up in? Yeah, I mean, that, that was horrifying. Like, I mean, who, 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 who knows? You know, it's like, I mean, he could win this whole damn thing. You know, a newcomer, his only second match in the IWF, and he could become champion. I could see it happening with the skills that he uh, shown that he had in the ring. It could happen for you, Joe Magnar. That dude is rough. Magnar, if you're watching, please comment and tell us what's up. You know, let us know what your thoughts on this match coming up. Uh, and then we got uh, Beaumont saying, Immortals. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you watching. Appreciate your comment. If you got any comments on this upcoming match, you know, Torture Six, we would like your thoughts. Man, on, imagine, on, imagine we got Omos in that Torture Six match. Oh, man. Man, you know, instead of Mississippi. Hey, yeah, who knows? You know, but, hey, you know, it could be one of them WWE where he attacks him in the back and takes his place. Who knows? Oh, that'd, be that, awesome. that'd be some cool stuff, you know? But uh, we appreciate you, Bo Monster. Uh, yeah, so Magnus, uh, what, what, what's your thoughts on Magnus? How do you think you can do in this match here? I mean, I'm excited to see him again. I was excited to see him in, in, in the last pay-per-view, in, in the last event. And he did pretty good. I mean, he did get eliminated. So, I mean, I don't know if that's his first loss, but, but hey, I mean, he's, he's still a bad man. He, he still impressed me. And so I'm looking forward to seeing him more. But I, I can't wait to see him in singles competition. And, hey, if he, if he wins the Torture 6 match, we'll see him with the belt. And he'll have to defend that belt. And he, he talked about being a fighting champion. He said, if Nipitin, you want a fighting champion, you're looking at it. Hey, man, you know, uh, people always say it's not about uh, winning the belt. It's if you can keep the belt. There you go. And so, I mean, yeah, we, we whoever wins this belt, we're going to have to see if they can defend it. And if they can defend it, hey, good for them. And that shows that they're the true champion. 
but we do have one other person who is uh, the very last entrant that was announced. Uh, the man known as Zenith. Zenith, that's right. We have Zenith in there. I can't wait to see Zenith in there. I'm always excited to see Zenith in there, dude. Honestly, if I had to put my money on anyone winning that belt, it has to be Zenith. Honestly, I, I I don't deny you. I mean, uh, look, he's beat two of the people that are already in yes. there. He's beat Dante. Yes. He's beat Little Phil. And now, and then also, when he beat those two, he basically beat Mississippi Mud, too. So that takes out three people that he's already taken out. And all he has to worry about is the newcomers, Razorback Joe Magna. I'm not saying that's an easy task or nothing, but he does have experience on this side. He's been in this business for many yeah, years. And, and we don't know a whole lot about the new guys, and, and Zenith had his work laid out for him as far as Zenith and, and Don, or Little Phil and Dante, because they've been in. The IWF for yeah, a little and while. They, and, they, and they've gone and gone to each other. But these they, new guys, it's like, it's, uh, it's uncharted territory. Yeah, it, could be a, it could be a whole new, you know, crazy experience for this guy. But, but he's so smart, so cerebral that I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets around these I feel, guys. I, I, man, I feel like with him overcoming that last triple threat match, you I felt like he definitely, des he definitely deserved get, being in this Torture 6 match. Because that man deserves the title shot. And all these other warriors, I have no problem with them being. I think they're great warriors. I think they're a great addition to this match. Can't wait to see. I can't wait to hear what other matches we're going to have announced. For them to go ahead and announce that the Torture 6 in the first match is amazing. I can't wait to see the rest that of the match. That match itself is so stacked. I can't wait to see the rest of the card. Like, seriously, I mean, that, we have to wait all the way till the third match on December 4th at Creepy Hollow. Like, I can't wait for that. And it's like, it's going to be exciting to watch. And uh, let, let's see, we got we got a couple of more comments. Let's see what we got. We got Raymond Kelly. We appreciate Raymond, you watching, bro. bro. We have, uh, have IWF ever had a gimmick like the heist? What's the heist? Maybe, uh, I maybe, maybe that Rick and Morty episode. I don't know. What do you think? We did, we did just watch a Rick and Morty episode about the heist. Uh, we're not sure about the heist. We can uh, enlighten us about that. Hey, hey I know Andrew, we're supposed to be wrestling nerds just because we have the show, but we don't know everything, so hey, let us inform us. Hey, but hey, look, let's say we don't. If you're interested, hit up the IWF Facebook page and let us know. We're, we're always looking for talent in, in ring, out of the ring. If you're interested, referees, wrestlers, cameraman, captain, you know, everything, man. All that. Water okay. boy, whatever you want to do. Y'all want to do? If y'all want to come do that, if y'all want to come be Bobby Boucher, come be Bobby Boucher. Give, 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 give him some water. You know, I mean, come on through. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you're talking about the highest homie, so we know what you're talking about. We got Bow Monster looking forward to seeing the uh, future perform. So are we, man. We're excited to see that. Hopefully, we can get you out there. Maybe you know, do a little commentating with us, or maybe just be in the crowd. We can get an interview from you. Or, or, or come join I and N again. One more. You yeah, let, 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 come on the show, man. Let's talk. Come on, we got one, we got one more Friday before the show. Come out. Let, let's talk real quick. Tell these guys what's up. Seriously. And then we got, not like they could compete with me. Oh, okay. That's true, though. I mean, that may be true. That may be true. You're, Bo Monster is one of the best. You're he, a legend in this alternative. He took out match. Behemoth of all people. Career in the match. Took him out. I mean, Bo Monster is a legend, man. I, and, he, and that was two wins in one night. Yeah. He, he, yeah. yeah. He won that zombie pasta. Then he won against the career threatening match again. Big old Behemoth. And that was a crazy match. If you haven't seen it, guys, the Mortal Wrestling Federation YouTube channel, full event. YouTube Zombie page will have match. everything you want to watch. Uh, we have uh, Marco's mission and uh, should be a Donnie Brook. What's a Donnie Brook? Have any idea? Uh, we don't, we don't know. Uh, should be a Donnie Brook. Like I said, we ain't the smartest wrestling uh, commentated ever, but I mean we do our best. Uh, please explain because we are a little retarded. Sorry. Elaborate. Uh, yeah, elaborate. Uh, Remy Cowley says, I think Chance Banner should be uh, should get better attire. More effort in the look of the gimmick. You know what? It's funny you bring that up. Me and Andrew were watching this man a little bit earlier. And I, I, I know I'm not a wrestler, so I can't really talk that much shit. But we did mention a little bit earlier that he kind of looks like a Mexican long hair, skinny version of Larry the Cable Guy with all his cut off flannels. I mean, I, like I said, we're not trying to knock nobody, but I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. Jeez, but we agree. I don't remember that conversation. Man, I think Chance Bender is great. Whatever. I don't know why he's not in the torture what, system. Whatever, kiss ass. Anyway, we got Marco, uh, Marco saying, slobber knocker for the layman out there. All right, what's the layman? <laughs> Slobber knock? <laughs> slobber knock, you know what a slobber knock is, but what's the lady? He's lazy. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think, I think we're going to frustrate these people out there. 
just gonna be like, what the hell's wrong? See, we have a little commotion in the back because we're retarded. Uh, we we uh we gonna keep going now. We gonna keep going. All right, so we got the torture six bash. <laughs> oh, is there, I mean, what other news we got? Oh, we got some new uh, warriors coming out there. Yeah. They, we recently saw a video also on YouTube page. Go check out the YouTube page. Uh, we have a new guy, Hanzo. Hanzo. He's a ninja. He's a ninja. He, he, well, I, we made, yeah. I made a joke earlier, you know, he, he's not the great white uh, great Beverly Hills ninja, you know, he, he's the Willowbrook uh, ninja, so, yeah, you know. He's a, yeah, he's legit, though. I mean, uh, I was surprised to see this dude jumped off, like, some kind of bridge or something, and, and was like, I, 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 and I felt like I was watching old Kung Fu. Yeah, old Kung man. Fu flip. It was good stuff. It was good stuff. Let's see if we got a couple more. Uh, Larry, Larry Campbell guy attire. Better than looking like him. Oh damn, that's fucked up, sir. <laughs> sorry for all that. Sorry, but like, man, that's really is French. <laughs> uh, Remy Kelly. The heist is a gimmick that the wrestler is in all black attire. Comes out with a black back and steals wins any way possible. That uh, kind of sounds like he tore you. Uh, like Hanzo. I mean, yeah, but but he's a ninja. He's not just covering all black. He, I'm guessing he's talking like the Ram character, like you saw back in Raw vs SmackDown days or whatever. He was just wearing all black, wore ski mask and wore the brown pants, you know. Carried a duffel bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something like that. Yeah, like oh, but no, but, 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 but yeah, no, I don't think, no, the IWF has not ever had that given a captain. But if you want to come do it, Raymond, come talk to come us. Come make it happen. Come make it happen. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, so, I mean, we got Hanzo. Look, we got this new guy, Heck, H E C. You know, he, 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 he talks no crap about Razor Bat Joe in his video on YouTube. You go Boy, he's one of those, like, conspiracy theories. Yeah, man, you know, he... he, he talks about crap about Razor Bat Joe. I think he talks some crap about Chance, Chance Bender. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he don't, you don't think he trusts his government a little too much at all. So, I mean, we, we got some... I would need it, though, if the government will stop me from having my medicine. That's true, that's true, you know. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, we got, uh, we got, uh... Uh, Dante Inferno watching, of course, and then we got uh, Marcos giving us a sad face for not, I guess, me not knowing what a layman that is. That is a look of disappointment. It is. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what a layman is. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, maybe I did get in the ring. Y'all just beat my ass until I learned stuff. But that ain't gonna happen. Anywho, so yeah, so I mean, that, that's, a, that's pretty much the new guys we got in the ring. Anybody else can pick up? I don't think so. But if we're forgetting anybody, y'all can always check our YouTube page and check it out. Uh, we did, like I said, we talked about the, uh, this, uh, damn, what's the match called now? I'm forgetting it already. The, uh, Torture Six. Torture Six match, uh, of course, at, uh, Dead of Winter. And, uh, December 12th, okay. Creepy Hollow Haunted House in Rochester, in Texas. Exactly, all that stuff one week from Saturday. Uh, we have, uh, Bow Monster saying, hashtag Zenith for champion. And, I mean, hey, it could very wow. well happen. He's in the match, so, well, I mean. the man himself, the legend, Beaumont. Beaumont, like I said, let's get you on the show, bro. Let, let, let's get you on commentary for that match. Let's see Let's see what's happening, man. I would like to hear from you. Uh, I mean, I think without further ado, maybe we should bring out 24K and get to know. Are you guys more. ready for 24K? Do y'all want to see 24K? If you want to see 24K, give us a hell yeah in the comment section. Let's go. Come on. All right, without further ado, yeah, we're not going to wait for that uh, hell yeah. But y'all keep bringing them in the comments. Without further ado, we do want to bring out this new tag team that we recently talked about on the last uh, in-depth show. We want to get a little in-depth with these two guys. Get to know what's going on with them. You know, cool uh, consisting of this new guy named Cool Core, and of course the guy that's been here for a while, Lil Phil. They start a new little group. They do their little hand stuff. You know, 24K. You know, let's get him out here. Let's talk to him again. Lil Phil, Cool Core, come talk to us. 24K, come on the show. Can we get a round of applause? Get a round of applause. Come on, y'all. Well, here we go. Here we go. 24K. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, welcome. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming on the show, Lil Phil. Cool Corey, nice to meet you guys. What's good, Sit down, sit down, guys, sit down. I think y'all in my seat, man. What's up, man? We're in the middle right quick. Hey, y'all, y'all go ahead. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that, 24 days. Sorry about that. We'll get y'all a minute. Y'all, 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 y'all the prize. Y'all the prize. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, again, appreciate y'all for coming on, guys. How y'all doing tonight? You good, Cole, Cole, you Ladies good. and gentlemen, and stupid people of the IWF civilization, bro, 24K is in the building. Ooh. Oh, they like, all. Oh. Ooh. Bro. All right. Before we go any further, it is so bright in this room. How do y'all not have shades on, bro? But it's bright like our future. You feel what I'm saying? It's bright like 24K's future, bro. 
Now let's get started. Hey, y'all shine a bright like a dime, man. We appreciate y'all coming on, fellas. How y'all doing tonight? We're doing, doing very good. That's doing good. good. Hey, cool cord, man. Hold on. Uh, Big Papa Connors, man. Uh, how you doing tonight, man? I'm good, bro. I appreciate you asking. Thank you. Doing good. You feeling good? Yes, sir. I appreciate you. I just, I just, I just got a question. Uh, I noticed that earlier you said that uh, Zenith beat be Little Phil. I want you to refresh my memory. When did that happen? Uh, oh, you, I mean, uh, I mean, you, you that didn't ready? happen. Right? You feeling right. good? What's in that cup? I mean, you don't need to worry about that. You <laughs> feeling a little too good. All right, let's get started, man. You right, you right. You my, my bad, my bad. Zenith did beat, beat Dante in that match. And Zenith Here we go, never man. beat Little Phil. Fast. Yeah, y'all have had some interesting things to say about Zenith. I mean, we're, we're, what y'all were? It seems like a hot beef with the whole IWF. Yeah. But uh, there's, before, a, there's a reason for that, bro. Oh, okay. Please explain. Elaborate, please. Let us know what 24K is all about. First of all, let's go back to Squid One, you know what I'm saying? You know, we have a dude like Cool Koi trying to get into the idea of the roster, but then you look around and you see nothing but trash, brother? It doesn't really make any sense to me, man. You got a little feel. This man right here is an icon, bro. One half of the 24K Golden Kings, bro. And your boy Cool Koi, you already know what it is. I even had a match in them already. Leagues above the rest of the roster, bro. Because they know what it is, bro. They all know what it is. The trash on this roster, bro. I cannot believe the garbage that I see. Getting into the ring, act like they are superstars, bro. Warriors? No. Mm. Jokes, bro. All of them. Except this man right here. The only other real dude in the IWF, man. Everybody else is trash. Man, I want to appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. And, uh... You know, a lot of people have been asking me about, you know, Dante Inferno's been shooting a lot of slugs, you know, the you little feel, you know, how do you how do you come back, you know, what what do you gotta say about that? Hmm. What I gotta say about that is Dante Inferno, you need to get your facts straight, man. You said I didn't graduate. I graduated with honors, man. And unlike you, I'm a winner and you a certified clown. What makes you think that your manager Mississippi Mud isn't gonna hit you over the side of the head, man. Take you out. How embarrassing. How many promos are you gonna make? How depressed are you gonna get when you know that you got eliminated by your manager, man? <laughs> That's sad. What? I mean, I seen you. You know what, look, Angel, in the IWF, you gotta have, you gotta have, you know, character, and you know, you gotta have, confidence is key in this business. Mm -hmm. And you know, I see Dante Inferno. I see, you know, he had to go to a dark place and he had to change, you know, his image, you know? Get in front of a blue light, and, and I seen it, man. I see you got your Wesley Snipes going on. <laughs> oh. And you know, you said how you like the jacket. I like the jacket. Look, as a matter of fact, I think it'll look better on me. True, true. You know, but I mean, he wants to get nasty. We're gonna see what it is. But I bet you, any all that trash that he be talking is full gazing, man. And I will expose you. You watching right now? Listen here. I'm gonna win. You talk about you're gonna walk out the belt. The only belt you're gonna be walking out and going home with is Mississippi Muds after he tears your ass up for losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. You can't be biased. Boy, gonna be tearing. <laughs> God damn it! I told him to stick to the plan. We, we heard what you said about the pole thing. And, uh, yeah, about, about what he could do with his pole. But we appreciate y'all guys. And I mean, those, those are words. Uh, but of course, you are in the Torture Six match. You will be there going for that belt with the people you just announced. You know, you will have Dante and Inferno in there. You're going to have a guy by the Ridgeback Joe you, you haven't made contact with, but you will that night. Another Ooh. guy, Ridgeback Joe, little little guy that wears camouflage, <coughs> hunts people and stuff like that. Oh, uh, Cool Court going to take the comments over. Uh, well, he, he's another entrant in that match, in case you didn't know that. Uh, then we also have uh, uh, we have Mississippi Mud, weirdly enough, for some reason. He's in that oh, match. what are your thoughts on Mississippi Mud being entered into the Tortured yeah, Six match? Look at look at Bow Monster trying to hate, bro. Let, let, where, let, let, let's where, see where is Bow Monster, man? I know it's like this boy been missing in action. Hopefully, he found some lotion for them ashy knuckles, oh bro. Oh my god! Wow! Looking out there like he just got off the plantation, bro. Oh my god! Man, forget the knuckles. How about them ashy lips? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Uh, hey, that's that's a that's a nightmare, bro. You know what, Bow Monster man? The funny thing about you is you got pissed off because somebody took out the lady who, who, what? That was his, his ex-wife, right? It was his ex-wife, and yeah. she cheated on him, and he what? got mad yeah, what, because what, she died. What the guy? The you want to tell me, man? Bow Monster man, you a simp, bro. Oh my a god, a simp, bro. Oh my 
my Facts. You know what? Wherever you at, man, you're on your vacation, you retire, you gone, you stay over there. Because we don't need you here, bro. The future's right here. We don't need that garbage. Go on over there and cry in your corner and cut yourself like you always do, you scrub. Jeez, Louise. So, 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 Let's move on. So, so we'll start that one. Well, I want to inform the crowd. You know, in the comments, uh, we have uh, Beaumont saying, who the hell is uh, Cool Corey? That's what, that's what they're commenting on. Uh, a little bit more of these comments. you bro. A little bit more of these comments. Uh, we got Raymond Cowley say, would you guys come to San Antonio ever? It could be possible. Would y'all like to take a trip to San Antonio and go wrestle out there a little bit? I mean, if the money is right. Hey. Yeah, it's like I got surprised, but I'm down. I got love for San Antonio. Like, you know, I've been, I've been everywhere. I go, I'm, I'm all about going places. Yeah. I'm well, not about being stuck. Like, some of these people that are going to continue to stay stuck where they at. We got Raymond Callie all saying, because I think it would be good for 24K. He thinks it would be good for y'all to go over there to San Antonio. That's what they want, man. And the money's right. We can make something happen. Uh, we got we got Bow Monster uh, saying 24k equals two people, four brain cells of crap. That's uh, done by Bow Monster. That's probably the best thing to come up with. Well, there, there you go. Uh, we got Dante Inferno. Y'all just had to mention me. I mean, you are part of the Torture Six. We were talking about December 14th. Cannibal Wait, Blood. first of all, I, I didn't did mention it. IW Civilization. Hey, check it out, man. Spoiler alert. Just for this INN show, Dante Inferno is guaranteed to at least come out with eight new promos that are about nothing. <laughs> wow. Uh. <clears throat> they take a year to like all the promos that Dante Inferno I mean, Inferno's this is what I don't understand is he said that there's a reason why Mississippi Mud chose him. First of all, Mississippi Mud, I'm through, look, if you get to know me, man, if you can't get the job done the first time, I'm not even going to fool with you. Like, you know, I, that just shows me, you know, you can't get the job done. So I'm gonna find somebody else that can. So I parted ways, chunked the deuce, and oh, Dante wow. Inferno was just helpless. And, you know, he needed he needed help. And Mississippi Mud would just so happen to be there. But, man, I moved on, man. I mean, I'm through it. Mississippi, you ain't about your money. Then, I, man, I'm going to continue to get money. I'm going to continue to shine. And I don't need you in my corner. So you've completely severed ties with Mississippi Mud. I think it's self-explanatory. Yeah, so there, there's no chance we'll see you maybe protecting him or helping him protecting out. Protecting him? Dante yeah. Inferno, he got to be looking over his back for everybody, man. <laughs> if he puts trust, if he puts trust in a man like Mississippi Mud, he's a fool. Cause look what happened to the plan. Look what happened. <laughs> and in your eyes, just on the belt, huh? That's all it's focused on right it's now. It's always been about the show, man. So what are your thoughts? It's always been about being the top person. And you got to be that way. And a lot of people, y'all ain't going to like it, but I don't care. Hey, we feel like you feel Dante, capable with Dante. Let me, let me say this about Dante, man. Dante, you should really think about what's going on, bro. Mississippi, you had that man. You trying to tell this dude to hit Lil Phil with his stick. And he choked. You telling me that you can depend on a dude like that? Come on, man. Come on, now. Right there, dead to rights, could have hit that man, and he didn't do it. But now you think you can still trust this man? Come on, man. Well, we also Let's got, uh, we got Bow Monster saying, Little Phil was one half of a loser. That's done by Bow Monster. Well, you know what the best move Bow Monster did was hang up the boots and get behind <clears throat> the computer. Because, I mean, this is the most that I've ever heard from him. Dude. I think I only saw one promo from Bow Monster his entire Immortal Wrestling Federation career. And quite frankly... It was trash. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, we got Chance Bender saying, 24K versus Chris and Angel in a two out of three falls double dog collar match. Got a uh, better idea. <laughs> Chance Bender versus anybody on the IWF roster. Guaranteed fact, he will lose. Let's move on. All right, let's move on. We got, uh, we got Dante Farmer. Uh, weren't you working with Mississippi too, he said? Like I said, man, like I was making money moves. But we done with that. Mississippi ain't about his money. And, you know, you can, y'all, do y'all thing. I don't get nasty. I don't care. Because on your next promo, I mean, you know what, man? You, I bet you so nasty, you put butt plugs up your ass to keep from talking from your ass. Jeez, wait. Okay. Because uh, you talk so much, but I just want to see, man, all this confidence. Where was this Dante Inferno at, man? If all I would have known was to buy a blue light. Man, I would have did that for you, man. <laughs> I would have bought you a blue light. But the real question is, how much did you pay that little girl at Lids to say Dante Inferno? Better yet, how much did you pay her daddy? 
Okay, moving on. Uh, we got uh, we got Mo uh, okay. Marco's bringing up something which I want to say by the way was hilarious on your part when you compared him to a sandwich. Thought that was pretty funny. But he says, "Is that is that the sandwich guy sitting next to Little Phil?" I don't know if you, Marco. Oh, let me let me change my oh, stage. My goodness. <laughs> Ooh, Captain Trash in the comment section. Hey, let me let me address him real fast. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You see, Captain Trash, he he thinks he's a comedian, right? You know, he thinks he's the next. You know, he, he thinks he's a star. You know what, man? Screw you, Shadow. Captain Trash has taken his illustrious career from his previous federations, and he brings it over here like he's still a star. Let me tell you something. This business is about what have you done for me lately, bro? What have you done in the IWF, bro? Go against a Chance Bender? Nobody cares about Chance Bender, bro. That's so funny because nobody really cares about you, but you want to convince everybody up out here that you still that dude, like you still that star. And tell the dude like, cool, Coy came in the building and showed you what was really good, bro. And what was really good, show sure, wouldn't you? Look, you can try to flip sandwich jokes and all that to your favor. But the truth is, man, you are out of style. You are busted and you are garbage, bro. I know you like to look up to old school jokes like Hulk Hogan, like they still in style and people still like that. But, man, there's a reason that old school nation of wrestling died off. Because people got sick and tired of that stupid trash. And they wanted something with some edge to it, bro. Something fresh. Something dude. a little real, you know what I'm saying, bro? Because that ain't coming from you. What they getting from you is that old school cornbread, stupid, corny, cheesy, stupid garbage, bro. What you can do is you can go ahead and you can go back to your other federations if they still exist. And you can go take that back over there. You and all your so-called uh, Marcos fans that you love to rep and shine for. So uh, let's move on, man. Okay, let's move on. Bone Monster says he wants to eat y'all. So he likes to eat a lot of things. Uh, you said you don't know this man, but uh, one of your opponents, Ridge Bad Joe, he is in the comments. He has a beef with Mississippi Muddy, and he says Mississippi has someone else he has to deal with. Again, you may not know much about him, but he is your opponent. Any thoughts on uh, the guy they call Ridge Bad Joe? I mean, man. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, Mississippi Mud. Y'all gonna run that man's blood pressure up, man, because really. He's the X Factor, but he ain't gonna get a dub over me. That's why I'm just laughing because I just I'm gonna wait and pick my spot, bro. Because if there's anybody logical in this six man match to win, you looking at him right now. Like there's not, it's not Zenith, it's not Razorback Joe. It damn sure ain't Dante in front of Mississippi Mud and well, who's the other uh, uh, Magnar? Magnar, the Karate Master, the 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 martial art, the, the martial uh, arts, the, the UFC dude. He, he never made it to the UFC, but he was he, a street he like, fighter. I seen that boy. The dude in that boo boo home, he was like, This is my home. Yeah, yeah, it was a little burnt down, a little shack, yeah. Uh, I seen, I seen uh, you know what, that, it's funny that you say that, man, because I was riding down, and you know, I think I seen him coming out the gym, and I told him, Boy, you better get back in now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, uh, we uh, got a. Uh, Why don't you tell him that? Are you not worried about, about Magnar at all? I mean, He's undefeated no, no, no. before he came to the IWF. Because he was fighting the trash. Bro. But when he gets a real opponent, like 24K, come on, man. Look, there's a difference between video games and the real thing. <laughs> and this is the real thing. You will get hurt out here. I've never faced a Magnar. And he's never faced a little field, but he's about to see what's coming to him real fast. I got a question, though. Could we expect Cool Corey out there on your on, on ringside, maybe, out there? Look, look uh, there's a possibility, but... Uh, we have some exclusive news if I can get a break on this. Oh, wow. I am Live stream, bro. Right. Your boy, Cool Coy. Woo! I've been signed to an IWF in ring contract, bro. Officially, bro. Let's go, bro. Good for you, man. Welcome, bro. Congratulations, oh, Cool Coy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, thank you for the love, bro. So, does that mean, can we possibly expect you to match? Next Saturday? There is a high possibility. As a matter of fact, there is a guaranteed possibility, bro, because I have gotten news, bro, that my first opponent is going to be Trump solo. Okay, no. All right. Trump bro. The train track killer. Oh, oh my goodness. Train track. Thomas Lee Ramirez. Ooh, ooh. 
Bro. Right here on Immortal News Now, we just got an announcement of a second match for Dead of Winter, Cool Corey versus Train Track Killer. Do we know what the stipulation yeah. of the match is? Just a regular old match, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know, one thing I can say about your boy Train Track Killer is we got one thing in common, man. We really don't like Marcos. Now, don't we, bro? You know, I saw you when you said that you were going to make him your next victim. Hey, I'm all for it, brother. Have your shot. Just don't let me down like Chance Bender did. Don't let me down like all these other guys out here that were going to act like they were going to beat Marcos and they failed. Because if you do, bro, you're making the new school look like garbage. And we don't need any more trash bag representations representing us. We the future, bro. But we need to enforce that future by stepping up to the plate and removing the old school. You feel me, bro? But before we even get to somebody like that, you got an even bigger problem, bro. You got cool motherfucking core in the ring with you, bro. I ain't no Chance Bender. I ain't no Captain Trash. I ain't no Magnar, and I ain't no Razorback Joe, bro. And I surely, surely ain't Ashy Knuckles, Simp, Bowmaster. You finna be in for a fight, bro. It's gonna be all lights on you, but in reality, the all lights are gonna be focusing on your boy Cool, not the freaking Corey from the building, bro. You can feel it, bro. The anticipation of your boy getting out there on that stage, bro. And with little feel at ringside, bro. Come on, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna say this now, man. Like, I, my God, bro. Right now with this news, 24K in the building, like. Everybody's self-esteem going down. You finna see this man win the IWF Heavyweight Championship, bro. And you finna see me take home the dub, bro. Beating Thomas Lee Ramirez in my debut match. There you have it, bro. Folks, you heard, you heard it here first. Immortal News Now. 24K is taking over. With Little Phil becoming a champion in his Torture 6 match. And Cool Core taking on the Train Track Killer in his match. Uh, let's, let's be, uh, before we let y'all go, let's read a little bit more comments and uh, see, what, see what they got to say. Uh, Bone Monster says, I'm going to kill him. I don't know what you want to talk about, <laughs> but he's going to kill one of y'all. I mean, if, if he can find his way back to a ring, you can try. Well, but you'll fail. <laughs> uh, we got Dante Ferno saying, ha, 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 ha. Y'all so funny. And he also says, the more my name is mentioned, the more my stock is raised. So keep talking about stock? me. Stock? Boy, you don't got no money. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> Boy, you done went through a midlife crisis. You done, you look like you lost. Man, I feel like I'm just a broken record repeating stuff. And then he wonders why, oh, they're saying the same thing. I'm just going to touch all over my body. <laughs> Well, if you don't get your clown ass on, because you ain't got no money and you ain't got no dubs, you a loser. And you in Mississippi could go and get nasty because y'all finna get drunk anyway. Speaking of getting drunk, uh, we have Chance Bender talking about taking a shot every time you hear bruh. Uh, I think we'd be dead by the time if we did that. He's mad because the word bruh is more relevant than his entire IWF career. Jeez. Jeez. Wow. Jeez. He's saying that's trending. Then you wait. Okay, let's move on. We got Marco saying, it's funny. When you've been around as long as I have, these young butts talk like they share copies of the same trash talk they had made at Kinko's. Much love to those youngsters, though. My God, bro. Where does this little troll always come from, man? It's like he, he just, he's so stuck in his senile mind, man. It's like he has Alzheimer's when he comes out there. He's like, it's still the glory days. Marco's the office of Perez, and I'm gunning you down. You ain't gunning down nothing, bro. You putting all of us to sleep every time you open your mouth. So what you should do is shut your mouth, step to the side, and watch the real do what the real does. What you need to do is understand that you're dealing with somebody right now, bro, that you never anticipated. And you know that's a fact. Well, we somebody also... quite like who, Corey, bro. You're going to understand sooner, but... <laughs> well, there you go. We got Casey uh, Clay. Thanks for watching. She, uh, she makes a hand clapping sound. It may be towards y'all. Uh, this did come in early. We have Razorback Joe. Everyone wants to be a gangster till it's time to do gangster stuff. So Erica Holmes, little gangster, better be ready. Well, I was born ready. You don't 
Do your background. Who's do your background uh, check. Razorback, Razorback, Razorback Joe. Joe. When I think of Razorback Joe, I think of a, a knockout what? Jumanji because I don't know who he <laughs> is. I've never seen any of his matches. Like, <laughs> what, who, 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 and what are you? But like Bruh. I said the last time, maybe who like MacGyver, bro? Come on, man. Like the thing about Razorback Joe is, if he would open his eyes, he would see who's kicking his ass <laughs> in the ring. And when you open your eyes, you're gonna see my fist. Raise it back, bro. Stop falling asleep when you're cutting promos, please. <laughs> Stop uh, it, bro. Right, Wake bro. up. Open your eyes, bro. <laughs> I got a question for y'all. Do y'all do y'all follow our YouTube page? Recently we've had some guy cut a promo on there, a new guy named Hanzo. I don't know if y'all got to see his uh, video or not. The ninja? He, yeah, the ninja guy. And we have him in the comments right now saying, much talk and much more must be walked. We shall see the measure of all in the upcoming match. Man, what is this, a fortune cookie, bro? What are you, what are you doing? That boy lives by the fortune cookie, bro. Yo. Ain't nothing good coming out of that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're reading, it ain't coming to pass for you, man. Uh, we, we're going to make this last comment. We want to appreciate y'all coming out 24K. Uh, but uh, last comment from Razorback Joe. All you will know who I am when it's all said and done. Any last comments, folks? Jumanji. Jumanji. <laughs> Jumanji. Gord. Phrase it back, Joe. Just stay home, like I said before, so this man doesn't hurt you. I think you better, you really need to watch Mississippi out. Mississippi Mud might hurt you, man. Dante and Fernando might hurt you. Magnon might hurt you. The but ref I, might hurt you. All that boy gotta do is just lay on you. It's over. It's gonna be done, If bro. you get hit with the stick. <laughs> well, folks. This was Immortal News Now. We appreciate y'all coming. Your host, uh, Big Papa Carnage, co-host, Angel Luna, 24K. Thanks for coming out. Good luck on your Torture 6 match. Good luck on your debut match no against problem, uh, Trent Chocula. Appreciate you, man. Anything, you know. <coughs> December 14th, Dead of Winter, Creepy Hollow Haunted House, guys. Be there. Don't miss out. Throw it up, bro. And come see 24K. Thank you guys. Good building, bro. Appreciate it. Peace out. Stay tuned for more news and information about the upcoming show. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.